What is a ROC curve? First of all, ROC stands for Receiver Operating Characteristic. But what is a ROC curve? A ROC curve is a graphical representation of the performance of a binary classification model for all classification thresholds. Let's look at this with an example. We would like to classify based on a screening whether a person has cancer or not. This classification is done with the help of a certain blood value where high values indicate cancer. The question now is what value we choose as the classification threshold. So at what level do we predict a disease? For this we get data from 10 people about how high the blood level is and whether there is a disease or not. We could now choose a classification threshold of 45 for example. In this case of the 5 diseased individuals we would correctly classify 4 as diseased and 1 incorrectly as healthy. So we correctly classified 4 out of 5 as diseased. This value is called the true positive rate TPR and is equal to the sensitivity. On the other hand, of the 5 healthy individuals, we misclassified 2 as diseased and correctly classified 3 as healthy. So we misclassified 2 out of 5 as diseased. This value is called the false positive rate FPR and is 1 minus the specificity. So for a threshold of 45 we get a true positive rate of 4 out of 5 i.e. 0.8 and a false positive rate of 3 out of 5 i.e. 0.6. The true positive rate is calculated with this equation. The true positive rate is equal to the true positives divided by the true positives plus the false negatives. The true positives are the people correctly classified as diseased and the false negatives are the people incorrectly classified as healthy. The false positive rate is obtained with this equation. The false positive rate is equal to the false positives divided by the false positives plus the true negatives. The false positives are the healthy individuals misclassified as diseased and the true negatives are the individuals correctly classified as healthy. We can now calculate for each threshold the true positive rate and the false positive rate. And it is precisely these two values that are then plotted on the ROC curve. The true positive rate is plotted on the y-axis and the false positive rate on the x-axis. Now let's draw the complete ROC curve for our example. If we choose the threshold value to be very small, i.e. pushed all the way to the left, we correctly classify all 5 diseased individuals. Our true positive rate is thus 5 out of 5, i.e. 1. In the same way, however, we also misclassify all 5 healthy people as diseased. Our false positive rate is thus 5 out of 5, i.e. 1. With that we have the first point. Now we can push the threshold further. Here we still correctly classify all 5 diseased people as diseased. So we continue to have a true positive rate 5 out of 5. However, of the 5 healthy individuals, we now misclassify only 4 out of 5 as diseased. So we have 4 out of 5 or 0.8. At the next threshold, we still have a true positive rate of 1. All 5 diseased people are correctly classified and a false positive rate of 3 out of 5, i.e. 0.6. At the next threshold, a diseased person is misclassified as healthy for the first time. We therefore obtain a true positive rate of 4 out of 5, i.e. 0.8 and a false positive rate of 3 out of 5, i.e. 0.6. We can now do that for all other thresholds. Now we have our finished ROC curve. At this point, for example, 
80% of the diseased individuals were correctly classified as diseased and 20% of the healthy individuals were incorrectly assigned diseased. Using the ROC curve, we can now also compare different classification methods. A classification model is better the higher the curve is. Therefore, the larger the area under the curve, the better the classifier is. And it is precisely this area that is reflected by the AUC value, the area under the curve. The AUC value varies between 0 and 1. The larger the value, the better the classifier. But what about the ROC curve and the logistic regression? For example, we could build a new classification model using a logistic regression. Here we could use, in addition to the blood value, age and gender of a person. In a logistic regression, the estimated value is then how likely it is that a particular person is diseased. Very often, 50% is then simply taken as the threshold to classify whether a person is diseased or not. But of course this does not have to be, any other threshold can also be used. Therefore, even with logistic regression, we can construct a ROC curve for the different thresholds. Of course, with DataTab, we can easily output a ROC curve online. To do this, we simply copy our data into this table and click on ROC. Alternatively, a ROC curve is also created for you under the Regression tab in the Logistic Regression. Now we simply select the two variables, diseased and blood value, and specify what we consider a positive event. In our case, the answer yes. Now we get the ROC curve. In this table, we find for each point of the ROC curve the respective threshold value. For example, with a threshold value of 20, we have a sensitivity of 0.68. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.